the Canadian wilderness, one of the most beautiful landscapes on earth. A place where nature's might has been harnessed by human ingenuity. For the past century, the Niagara Falls has generated enough electricity to power the lives of millions of people. But on the other side of the rainbow is a very different Niagara. A Garden of Eden, where a rolling landscape of vines has become the heart of a thriving wine industry. The wine industry is tremendously important because it is so focused right here in Niagara. Ninety odd percent of every bottle of uh, wine made in Canada is made within 20 kilometers of, of our porch here. It fuels the restaurants, it employs thousands of people. It's vital for the tourist trade. The amount of people that are invested in the wine industry here, emotionally, physically, mentally, is staggering. Niagara's quaint winelands may appear reminiscent of a bygone era, but this is also a place of cutting-edge innovation. Here, GE's distributed power technology is the driving force behind a landfill gas-to-energy scheme that is making the region's grape export among the most sustainable in the world. It's a journey from waste to wine that begins each morning with a most unlikely suburban ballet. The movement of trash from doorsteps to the Walker Industries landfill in Niagara is the opening act of a remarkable story. People in the community here in Niagara generally see waste as a problem and something to get rid of. We see waste really as an opportunity. If it has to go to landfill, we want to make sure that we're maximizing that opportunity. The breakdown inside the landfill naturally creates methane, and we capture that through a system of wells and uh, pipes, and we generate green power with it. GE's distributed power gas engines are providing electricity to a wine industry that is a source of local pride and employs 10,000 people in the region. Pride also comes from standards of production. In Canada's wine industry, sustainability is not just encouraged, but demanded. The sustainability of our industry is very, very important. And it's not only important to us, but it's very important to our consumers. Our distributors in Japan are actually demanding a listing of the sustainable practices that our winery and industry partake in because consumers around the world are very concerned about that. Walker Industries, partnering with GE, are being great corporate citizens. It fits right in with the entire sustainability model that we are endorsing at the Wine Council of Ontario and the wine region. In Canada's harsh climate, the local grape harvest is at the mercy of each season it meets. Climate change is going to make or break the wine industry. This year was one of the coldest on record. Minus 18 degrees Celsius and Merlot starts to die. So, you know, we get two degrees colder than that, then I lose my Merlot crop for the year. Sustainability has become central to Ontario's business landscape, shaping economic growth. We genuinely believe that we have a responsibility to the community to be good neighbours. It's the number one way we look at doing business here. It's incredibly important to us that we not just fit in with the community, but we give back to the community in any way we can. The journey from waste to wine is already inspiring other landfill projects across Canada. It's a game-changing innovation that has created a new field of play, offering a more sustainable future for those who matter most. <laughs>